when you watch the breath, you want it to come to a point of just right. Not too long, not too short. Like the porridge in the story of Goldilocks. And this requires that you pay a lot of attention. What kind of breathing feels good right now? And how can you tell when the breath is just long enough? When the out-breath is too long, it feels like you're squeezing it out, like you're squeezing out toothpaste from a tube. When it's too short, you're not getting your full lung full of breath. Same with the in-breath. If it gets too long, there's going to be some strain at the end. If it's not long enough, there's a sense of not being satisfied. So watch it for a while. And that's just long and short. There's also fast and slow, heavy, light, deep and shallow. You're going to find the point of just right in these things, which may not be at the middle point, because the body's needs change from time to time. Sometimes it needs a lot of long in-breath and just a short out-breath to give it more energy. Some it requires a long in and long out just to calm things down. You've got to learn how to read the needs of the body. It's in this way that your discernment develops. If the path were simply one of extremes, all it would require would be strength. But the fact is, it re requires just the right touch, as the Buddha said in his very first sermon. You follow the extreme of sensuality, it doesn't go anywhere. You follow the extreme of self-torture, it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, what's the point of just right? In that case, it turns out the point of just right is not halfway between sensual indulgence and torture. In other words, you're not just sort of sitting around doing nothing. You're finding another kind of pleasure as an alternative to the pain, the pleasure of concentration. So sometimes the point of just right lies outside the continuum. So you have to keep that in mind as well, particularly as you're developing your attitude toward what you're doing. Some causes of suffering, as the Buddha said, require simply that you watch them and they'll go away. Others require that you exert effort. And then you have to figure out what kind of effort, where it's best applied, how much. And be ready to put in a lot of effort at the times when it's needed. So in this case, the middle way doesn't mean just smack in the middle, it means the point of just right. And that requires a lot of discernment. Of course, this, that's the whole point of developing this path, is to develop your discernment. To learn how to see the nuances in things. Some things are black and white, other things have more shades in between. That's where you develop your powers to see things, to observe things. This is why when you act in the Dharma, you don't just act, you also reflect on your actions. And then you make adjustments, and then you reflect again and make more adjustments again. When the path gets to the point of just right, point of balance, that's when things begin to open up inside. <laughs>